hello, it's me. Um, I don't, this isn't set up the way that I want it to be, but it's just how it's, ha it's like, it has to be this way right now. But I want to come on and do a quick read while I can. I'm having to once again hide in my bathroom, okay? Um, because my kids are constantly up my butt. So, I'm going to do this probably as quickly as I can because they're going to, they're going to be back on my butt in a minute, okay? But alright, um, Archangel Michael, God protect us, read, let this be, um, full of grace, light, and guidance in Jesus' name. Uh, someone is not surrendering to something, okay? That's what I've been picking up when I was shuffling. Someone has some kind of, like, gift within them that they're not accepting or that, or there's a calling. This could be like a calling. Someone may have a calling that they're not accepting or they're not going towards, okay? Someone's not surrendering to something within them, okay? Manifest that this is something that's going to cause manifestation in their life, okay? Whatever this is that they're rejecting or not wanting to see or something is going to help cause manifestations. Like, they're going to unlock their manifestation abilities and they're going to become a lot stronger once they accept whatever this part of themselves is, okay? But right now they're not surrendering whoever this is. Earth, um... Nurture nature and then shine your light. Okay, so someone is like, someone needs to nurture themselves, okay? Or someone needs to become more grounded within themselves. Someone may have addic addic addiction issues, okay? Someone may have addiction issues here, okay? And they're having to um, deal with whatever this is inside of them that makes them feel imbalanced, okay? There's something that makes this person feel imbalanced. And, um... When they're free of whatever addiction problem this is, they shine their light and, and they manifest. But when they fall into whatever this addiction is, it, it messes with their manifestation. It messes with their abilities, okay? And this addiction, this could be a substance abuse thing or this could be an addiction to another person, like a codependency thing. Or this could be an addiction to, I don't know, blinding themselves from whatever this is that helps them. There's something that, like, it's supposed to manifest things in their life easier, but there's something that makes this person feel ungrounded and it's messing with their ability to manifest, okay? But whoever this is, they shine very brightly. They're very um, tapped into the universe. Other people may see a lot of synchronicities when it comes to this person. Like, people know this person is, like, tapped into God or people know this person's tapped into the universe. People know this from this person. There may be an aura around this person that's very noticeable, okay? But there's something about when they feel imbalanced is, is what messes up this manifestation that they're trying to cause come in, okay? Something about that. Something about imbalances causes their manifestation abilities to get fucked up. Okay? Yeah, harmonic flight in reverse. So someone is not taking some kind of like... Someone is not looking at their shadow side, okay? Someone's not um, evaluating or growing from this. They're not... Um, they're not seeing the side of themselves that they need to see in order to heal whatever this is. They, they need to heal something within themselves so that they're not so imbalanced all the time, okay? Whoever this person is. And they're not wanting to surrender to whatever this is. They're not looking within themselves to see what this is, that is that's messing with their manifestations. Because the manifestation card was upright. It wasn't reversed. So this person is meant to manifest something. This person is meant to like shine brightly and manifest a lot of good things in their life. Or a lot of good things in other people's lives, possibly. I don't know. But there's something within them that's ungrounded. That's causing issues when it comes to this, okay? Stepping through. Yeah. Someone is meant to step through some kind of, like, doorway or a portal or something. And it's supposed to unlock manifestation for them. Sound of the universe in reverse. Furred, or, uh, what is it? Furred and feathered friends in reverse. Okay. Someone may get synchronicities through animals, possibly, or... They may be seeing animals or being close to animals. Something about animals is like they're seeing signs from it. And there's something about they're, they're trying to block some kind of signs. Okay. There's like the universe is trying to send this person signs through different synchronicities. Okay. Regardless of what they are. What, regardless of what synchronicities these are. But someone is like trying to block it. Okay. They're like, no, I'm not doing this shit. Fuck that. That's what this person is like right now. This person is like... Fuck that shit. I'm not going to look at the dark side of myself that causes me imbalances. I'm not going to do it. Because whoever it is, they're either comfortable within this part of themselves or they've just accepted this part of themselves. But this is something that is needing to change in order for this person to shine brighter and to bring more things in. Okay? There's something, like I said, that's meant to... They're meant to dive within themselves and see whatever the dark side of themselves is. Okay? They're, they're needing to see that. 
They're needing to balance and become one with their, their, who they are, okay? It's like their heart and their mind conflict a lot. And this person is having to bring them together, okay? Like I said, in order to step through something, this person, this person's going through a spiritual transformation right now, whoever this is. They really are. And this is very difficult for this person. That's why they're imbalanced. That's why they're having to look at their shadow side. Is because the ancestors, angels are, are urging this person to step through something so that they can shine and manifest. That's what the angels are trying to get this person to do. But this person, like I said, they they're they're having to reflect. They're having to inner reflect. They're having to transform whatever it is with their heart and their mind that's conflicting. Okay, something about this person's heart and mind is very conflicting. This person may have um contradicting sun and moon signs or something and it's difficult for their emotional responses to coexist with their ego okay whoever this is air in reverse someone's not communicating here someone's meant to communicate something with someone or they're meant to communicate with themselves they're meant to to talk themselves through this or something like when they feel imbalanced they're meant to to listen to the angels and to, and to try to stay balanced throughout it whatever this issue is that they're having Someone is, like I said, paradigm shift, air. Someone is like, they're denying this. Whatever this is that they're meant to step through on, they're not wanting to or they're not facing it. But it's like, whatever this is, it's like, it's going to happen regardless. This person's going to have to view themselves, like really look at themselves. This person's going to have to do this. This is like shadow work. This person has been putting off for a long time that they're going to have to deal with. They're going to have to fix okay whatever this is within themselves and like i said something about communications they may not be getting as many downloads from their angels as they were or there may be someone out there that they're meant to communicate to help them heal but they're not communicating with this person transformation in reverse yeah what did i say what did i say someone is not wanting to transform someone is not wanting to surrender to this someone is trying to fight this transformation within themselves that's meant to occur someone is meant to um Really reflect and really look at themselves, and uh, once they do that, they'll they'll be able, like I said, to manifest better. They'll be able to to shine their light brighter. Okay, they'll be more like authentic. Okay, like I said, someone's meant to step through some kind of door here. They're meant to be like they're meant to be in the spotlight in some way. Okay, this person, whether this be like around other people or community or family, they're meant to be like. A light for other people or they're meant to guide other people with their knowledge but like I said they've got to they've got to fix this inner thing within them to manifest this heart chakra what does that say unfurling back to love do you unfurl to love I'm not sure unfurling back to love okay heart chakra this person's heart chakra needs to be opened this person has a very um it may be becoming opened right now but this person like I said transformation in reverse this person is like battling this heart chakra activation thing that's going on. They're not wanting to do this. They're not wanting to find compassion within themselves, even though they deserve it. They deserve compassion, okay? Everybody deserves compassion. If you can give compassion to someone else, give it to yourself. You deserve compassion too. So this person just is having to like forgive parts of themselves, okay? And they're having to reflect on parts of themselves. But everybody goes through this. Everybody has shadow work. Everybody fucks up, okay? Yeah, surrender. That's what this person needs to do. They've got to surrender to this. They really don't have like a choice here. They're being forced to surrender and they're fighting this surrendering. They're fighting it. They're fighting this transformation. Yeah, evolution in reverse. What did I say? They're supposed to be evolving. Their soul's supposed to be evolving through reflection, through reflection of oneself. Okay. And this person is not doing that, but they're, they're, the ancestors are really, really guiding this person to surrender because once they surrender, they're going to manifest things in. Okay. You're not going to manifest things through control. You can't control things. You have to surrender to God and just say, okay, I will be done. And that's when things are going to come flowing, okay? Yeah, reclaim your energy in reverse. This person may have a lot of people around them that's like draining them of their energy or they're, this person is very empathic, okay? This person picks up other people's energy. And this person has a lot of energies around them right now that's very confusing. This person may have some kind of um, clear audience where they can hear, okay? Where they can hear other people and think it's like psychic okay this person is like some kind of psychic and they're picking up on other people's thoughts or intentions or whatever it's not good it's causing this person to be very much in their head and it's that's probably what's causing this person to 
be battling like this and feel unstable like this. It's leading this person to whatever addiction this is. Is because something about energies are fucking with this person right now. Energies are fucking with this person. And it's causing them to fall into their shadow side. Yeah, unique gifts in reverse. This person has unique gifts. This person is like very spiritually led, okay? But this person, like I said, they're not following their gifts right now. Or they're not listening to their own gifts. Like this person... I don't know. If this person does tarot or something, they may be needing to self-reflect and watch their reads over or something. Because everyone gets something out of reads, okay? Even if it's not meant for you, you can still get something out of it. So if this person does reads or anything, they need to, like, reflect on what these reads are saying or something. And they need to see their part in it. Or they need to see where they act certain ways that... It's like this person... Reads other people's energies and they don't like it, but they do the same thing. It's like very hypocritical, okay? Okay, Mount Sinai in reverse. This person is not getting any revelations right now. They're meant to climb to the top of this mountain and gain this revelation. But the only way they're going to be able to do that is by uh, surrendering to whatever parts of themselves need to be healed. There's parts of themselves that once they heal, they're going to unlock more gifts. This person is going to unlock a lot more gifts within themselves and within their abilities, okay? Once they, once they tackle whatever this is. Once they tackle this inner healing self thing that they have to do. Yeah, awakened awareness. This person is needing to wake up. The angels are telling this person to wake up. Like, time to wake up. Time to see who you are. Time to see where you fuck up to. Time to stop casting judgment. Time to forgive yourself and forgive others. Those who show mercy um, will have mercy. Or how does it go? You'll be shown mercy if you give mercy or something like that. The point of what I'm saying is the way you view, view others is how you're going to view yourself, right? So it's like, it's that verse in the Bible to me means something different. Like, if you condemn and hurt other people, you're going to see God in the same way. You're going to see God as this condemning entity over you that's always watching your every move because that's what you do. So you're reflecting that out and that's what you perceive back, right? But if you are perceiving people with compassion, with mercy, with love, you're going to see God in that way. You're going to see God give grace and mercy and love back to you because that's what you reflect out. The, the universe gives you what you give to it, okay? So if you're not giving that out, if you're not giving out compassion, if you're not giving out mercy, if you're not giving out grace, you're not going to perceive that that's coming back to you because you're not. that's not where your headspace is, right? I'm trying to explain this the best way that I can, but it's just like... Those who show mercy will be given mercy, okay? Because of how they show it to others. Yeah, lemon essence. This person, like I said, they've got to work on their heart chakra right now, whoever this is. This person is really having to deal with, like, they need to feel the vibration of love. That's what they need to be on. They need to be on the vibration of love. They need to view others through other people's eyes or view other people through compassion, okay? This person has to stop judging or condemning, okay? Gracious receptivity in reverse, yeah. This is why they're not getting anything. This is why they're not getting anything back. This is why their manifestations aren't coming in. It's because they're not giving generously or they're not giving out gracious, like, energy towards people. So it's not coming back to them. That's why. This person has to work on that. Yeah, journey to wholeness. This person's on a journey to themselves, like, to their own compassion, to their own love for themselves so that they can show it to other people outside of themselves. But this person, like I said, is in reverse right now because they're not surrendering to this, this journey, this this soul journey they're meant to be going on with their self. Okay, this is more about themselves. Yeah, Realm Bridger in reverse. Whoever this is, they're meant to like repair bridges that have been burnt, this person. But it's like they're they're holding on to grudges or something and they're not rebuilding bridges that are meant to be rebuilt here. But there's something about they need to rebuild some bridges, okay, that they burn. As I say, trust your innocence and throat chakra, yeah. Someone feels like, because these were both in reverse, someone is very mistrustful of other people. Somebody thinks that other people lie to them a lot. Or somebody's paranoid about other people. Or someone feels like everyone's out to get them. Or someone feels like what people say is like directed towards them to hurt them or something, but that's not true. They There's something that happened in this person's past or their childhood that's caused them to feel this way and they're needing to reflect back on whatever that was in the past that caused them to feel this way so they can trust that other people sometimes 
Not all the time, but sometimes have innocent motives just like they do, okay? This person is very loving towards people. This person is very pure. But this person is very mistrustful because this person's been through a lot of shit, okay? Crown chakra. The unlimited self, y'all. Yeah. Someone's crown chakra is going to be, like, activated more. They're going to get more downloads or something once they do this. Like I said, their unique gifts, their abilities are going to increase once they accept this communication from the divine. Because the divine is trying to communicate with this person and tell this person what they need to do in order to bring this all in. Third eye chakra, yeah. The divine is trying to speak to this person. The divine is trying to tell this person, hey, this is the road you need to take. This is what you need to do. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be hard. It might hurt a little bit. And you're going to have to reflect on shit that you don't like to reflect on. But it's going to be for your growth. And it's going to help you. It's going to help your abilities. It's going to help you see. This person needs to see clearly. Sacral chakra, core of creation in reverse. Yeah, this person's not creating anything because of this. It's like... You can't be in this destroying energy. You got to be in a creative energy. You got to create. You can't... It's not about destroying other people's plans all the time or foiling the enemy all the time. Sometimes it's about creation. Sometimes you're meant to create something different within the world. And sometimes when you do create something, it does foil the enemy's plans, you know? Okay, alignment in reverse. Yeah, this person needs to become aligned. They need to deal with whatever these addiction issues are, whatever they may be. And they need to become more aligned within themselves, this person. Water in reverse. They need to have more compassion on themselves. They don't have compassion on themselves. That's why they don't have it on other people. They need to love themselves. They need to realize that they are a good person. They are an innocent person. They're a loving person. They're a genuine person. They don't deserve to be beating themselves down like they're doing. They're their own worst critic, whoever this is. You don't have to be your own worst critic, okay? Other people are going to judge. Other people are going to hate. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, who you answer to is God and yourself, okay? And whoever this is... They're putting themselves down and hurting themselves. Vulnerability. Yeah, this person needs to become vulnerable. They need to learn how to be vulnerable. They need to learn how to trust other people. They need to learn to trust that other people... There are people out there with good intentions. Sorry, that was backwards. There are people out there with good intentions, okay? There are people out there that aren't trying to snake you. So, they have to learn how to be vulnerable and learn... Basically... I'm not saying put your whole trust in another human being because... The Bible says trust no man. I'm just saying trust that what you give out is going to come back to you. Trust that if you're giving out a good vibration, it'll eventually come back to you, okay? Even if you're giving it to shitty people, you'll still get good karma at the end of the day from it, okay? New blueprints in reverse, yeah. This person has some kind of blueprint. This person has some kind of like trailblazing abilities that they're doing that they're meant to keep doing or whatever, and they're blocking it. They're blocking this like light that they're meant to shine because of this. They have to work on this, this person. Life force energy. Yeah, this may be blocking their communication with the divine. Or this may be blocking... Just like they may be just tired or just like emotionally drained or like um, intellectually like blocked. That's what this person feels like. Because it's not so much another person they have to really depend on or focus on. It's themselves. They've got to talk to themselves. They've got to work with themselves, okay? Yeah. Communication, co-creation. Yeah, once they start communicating with themselves and loving themselves and doing better about becoming one with their mind and their heart, then they can communicate with other people and it's going to be recepted, receptive or it's going to be like reciprocated, okay? Loving compassion, yeah? Fire in reverse with loving compassion. High heart chakra. Yeah, see? Whoever this is, they need to stop being angry, okay? If they are angry, they've got to stop in that angry vibration because that's not getting them anywhere. They've got to stop... Feeling angry about the past or feeling angry about the present or whatever they're angry about. They've got to stop doing that. They've got to come into more compassion for themselves and for others. They've got to open their heart chakra, like I said. This person's going to have a serious heart chakra opening. Like, they're going to feel God. Like, this person is going to feel God. They're going to feel so much love because I got two um, heart chakra cards. So this person's really going to their heart. It's like... What does the Bible say? Take my heart of stone and turn it to flesh or something? That's what's going to occur with this person. Yeah. Because right now this person is meant to be a portal keeper. Okay? They're meant to communicate what the other side wants them to communicate. They're meant to channel. And this person, they're blocking their channeling abilities because they're not reflecting on themselves. Freedom in our ancient future. Yeah. This person has like past lives that are meant to continue on in this life like there's things in past lives that they did that they're meant to continue on this will bring them freedom this will bring them happiness this will bring them transformation um if they follow and go back to whatever this is 
from their past lives that they're meant to complete in this lifetime, okay? But right now they're not doing that because, like I said, they're having to deal with their core issues, their root issues, okay? This person is a star seer. They're just in reverse right now. The infinite in reverse, yeah. Whoever this is, like I said, they're meant to, to communicate something from the divine. They're meant to, like, you see that ladder? It's like Jacob's ladder. It's like there's something this person sees. Like, this person is a channel, okay? So, like I said, if this person does reads or anything, they really need to reflect on their reads and really look at who, who is who and who's playing what part in the reads so they can self-reflect on themselves as well and see where they may be hypocritical, okay? And I'm speaking to me. I'm speaking to you. I'm speaking to all of us, okay? We all need to do that shit. All right? Home. Yeah, because this person is their own home. This person, God is their home. They have to see how this heart is, like, missing. They have to... to Bring this back, this love back that they had in their heart. They have to bring it all back, okay? They're having to learn to forgive. They're having to bring their innocence that they used to have towards people back, okay? Again, the infinite. This is what God's guiding and leading them to do. They may need to meditate or they may need to sit in their thoughts or something. God's going to come through for this person. I'm telling you, he is. And this person is going to have a huge heart chakra awakening. It's going to increase their gifts. And it's going to bring in more freedom for this person. And it's going to help them manifest this... Um, light that they're meant to be they're meant to be a light okay and they're meant to be free and that's what's going to happen for this person once they become more awakened once they become more aware okay but all right uh i just wanted to get this read out for somebody i felt very much like someone needed this and i really hope i helped okay um like i said this read is for all of us okay me too i'm watching this shit over so i think we all just need to reflect on the parts we play in other people's lives and you know there's times when people can be the enemy in your story but you're the enemy in their story. And it's all just, everyone's writing their own story. So you have to accept what parts you're playing in other people's stories as well as your own. So that you can really come into who you really are. And accept parts of yourself that need to be healed. Okay? Okay. But alright. I love you very much. And I will be back on next time. Okay? Okay.